Hello and welcome to another Planning Appeal case study video. I'm John Peters and in this video I'm going to explain how we overcame a recent refusal by Rygate and Banstead Council for one of our clients. This planning appeal was to overcome the refusal for a two-storey rear extension that was refused by the local authority Rygate and Banstead Planning Department. Our client was initially booked in for a free, no obligation consultation to run through the refusal reasons that had been used by Rygate and Banstead Council and to evaluate if an appeal was viable or if an alternative option would be best suited. The free, no obligation consultation, which took around about 20 minutes, found that the case was viable for appeal to the Planning Inspectorate, taking the decision process away from Rygate and Banstead Council Planning Department. This case was refused by Rygate and Banstead for the following reasons. The proposed addition by virtue of its scale, prominence and north flank second storey side facing windows will result in an oppressive and overbearing relationship with potential for overlooking and loss of privacy in relation to neighbouring gardens. Another one of these lovely subjective refusals that we love so much. The usual scale refusal reason, along with an overly aggressive terminology in relation to windows and overlooking. Is there really going to be any more harm from these windows and not the existing ones on the property or surrounding properties? As an organisation, we've been finding recently a number of errors in various local authority planning officers' decisions. These errors do help us support the appeal case. We do suspect the increase in these errors has been caused by cutbacks at local authorities and unprecedented increases in workloads that are piled on the reducing number of planning officers. Many of you repeatedly stating to us they've had little or no correspondence throughout the application process. And the first thing that you knew was receiving a refusal notice from the council. And in some cases, when you receive a letter from ourselves. With planning appeals, experience matters. Our specialist appeal team who handle over 2.5% of all planning appeals in England and Wales that are currently produced and submitted start by producing a comprehensive and robust appeal statement that in this specific case covered 20 pages, just over 4,900 words. It's important to detail in the appeal statement where the local authority failed in their assessment of the case and how, where possible, both local and national policies apply in favour of the appeal. Additionally, if possible, bringing in similar cases that the planning inspector found in favour of the appeal. Obviously, with the back catalogue we have of wins, we're able to use these cases and what the inspector said in them as additional argument to support the case we're working on. Recently, we had a client state that a competitor had said to them that they use our wins to help them produce their appeals. I suppose that's a compliment to our team, but obviously, with that methodology, it does not give them the underlying knowledge to be able to adapt arguments to a specific case. It is important to know that no two cases are the same and the arguments need to be produced for the specific case in hand. Once the appeal statement is completed, we send the document to our client asking them to check that they are happy for us to submit a case. If we need to add any additional information that the client may have forgotten previously to supply, it's done at this point and the case is then submitted. It is vitally important that all documents and responses are submitted on time throughout the process, as failure to do so will result in an appeal not being successful, something we hear about often when people attempt an appeal for the first time themselves. Always ensure you have a professional who has considerable experience of appeals. It's worth asking them for some recent successful planning appeal case studies, like the ones you find on our website. Due to the large number of cases we represent, we have a dedicated team that liaises with the planning inspectorate on a daily basis. For this appeal, an independent planning inspector from the planning inspectorate visited the site on the 15th of January and we're pleased to confirm the appeal was upheld and permission granted on the 7th of February in a three-page appeal decision notice. If you'd like to find out if we can help you with your planning appeal, complete our online form on our website www.planningappealsuk.com and our new case support team will arrange for a free, no obligation consultation with one of our planning appeal assessment professionals. Would you like to find an appeal case study for a certain type of application or even in a selected area? We have so many and not all of them are published or filmed, 
but that does not mean that we can't show you what you're looking for. Ask our planning appeal assessment professional during your free no obligation consultation. Thank you for taking the time to watch this planning appeal case study video and I look forward to producing another one very shortly. Thanks a lot then. Bye.